morning and assalamu alaikum hi mrs fatiha bajahat hodu teacher of grade 5a welcome to grade 5a's exhibition journey my learners and i are very excited to showcase the culmination of the entire process so without any further delays i'm going to ask my learners to begin Hello and good morning. My name is Fazal Ali, and welcome to Five A's PYP exhibition. We will be starting off with the plant protectors. Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Jannah Deem, and I'm an inquirer because I'm curious about my surroundings. And today, I'm going to tell you about the plant protectors' learning journey. So, at the beginning of the exhibition journey, the deforestation issue gave us the idea to study plants. Since deforestation is a big global issue. We decided to study plants to know more about them and how we can help solve this global issue. In plants, for example, variation. Use the plants to have different colors. Process happens when pollen over great distances. We discovered many more processes in plants, like photosynthesis, respiration, and many more. Studying these processes, we chose our central idea, which is the scientific processes in plants. So this is pretty much how the Plant Protectors Exhibition Learning Journey begins. So now let's proceed further to my group member, Mikhail Khan. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. So today I'm going to be telling you the scientific processes of plants. So let's begin. So our central idea is the scientific process of plants and our lines of inquiry are the natural processes in plants and the key concept, the, the key concept is change. The second line of inquiry is plants as life sustaining source. The key concept for this one is function. The last line of inquiry is methods for plant sustainability. And the key concept for this one is responsibility. Let's move on. <sighs> okay, so we had a nature walk outside in school in the ground to feel the textures of the rocks and get more information on plants. And that nature walk made me and my group curious about the surrounding and made us real inquirers. Now, let's talk about the natural processes in plants. This is a chart of the plant cycle that me and my group made. The different natural processes of plants are germination, pollination, and photosynthesis. Germination is a process that happens in the seed, which helps the plant to grow. Pollination is a, hap is a uh, scientific process that happens in the flower that helps the fruit to grow. And uh, photosynthesis is the process that's happening in the leaf, in the chlorophyll part. In our first submitted, we, we made a presentation on Google Slides. We explored the scientific processes of plants even further. These are our mentor, mentor sessions. In this special session, we meet our external mentors and talk about plants. In this slide, as you can see, we decoded the second line of inquiry, which my group member Zoha will be collaborating about. We made a mind map and explained our second line of inquiry even, even further. Now I would like to pass it on to Zoha and she will show you our fact file. Today I'm going to be talking about a fact file that me and I and my group made, starting with humans. Over here I chose a very cool fact, which was that plants provide us a lot of medicines. Going to insects. Do you know a Venus flytrap 
is a plant that eats uh, food by trapping flies and other insects. You know, beavers build dams on wetlands. Do you know that animals also decompose and become natural fertilizers? Clean water and fertilize improves water quality. You also know that not birds only make uh, habitats on plants, they also help in pollination. Now let's proceed further. Two smart solutions of gardening. Now let's proceed further to smart solutions of gardening. Screen sharing. There are many industrial fertilizers, but we use organic fertilizers because it is healthier, it is chemical free, boosts both nutrient efficiency, organic matter content in the soil, stores and maintains soil fertility to nurture plant growth. So today I'm going to show you how to make organic fertilizer at home. So let's get started. To make homemade fertilizer, I'm using the composting process. The composting process is a process where we use kitchen waste to make fertilizer. So I'm using eggshells, colocasia, onion, and banana peels. I am also using used coffee from my coffee maker, but that's optional. So this is how your fertilizer is supposed to look after 30 days. Awesome. Today I'm going to talk about a kitchen garden. A kitchen garden is a place where there are vegetables grown all around the household and is used to call a kitchen gardening. It is a particular way of growing vegetables to affect the cost. In Pakistan, people use their rooftops of growing vegetables. It is also improves air quality and contributes quality air to the environment. Hi everyone, today I'm going to tell you about vertical garden. We can use recyclable bottles like plastic bottles to make pots, planters, which, which we can put in, in our garden to enhance its beauty and we can use recyclable and to drag insects like for pollination and invite birds to make their habitat. Be eco-friendly and save the cost we spend. Save the cost we spend on our garden to make it beautiful and plastic bottles are more helpful for you and we can give them any shape you want. Now, the plants are going to improve air quality, or beastly, phosphor, rubber plant, and many more. Thank you for listening. Now, let's proceed further to the next food. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. I'm Rahania West from Gate 5A and today I'm going to tell you why we choose Energy for our Exhibition Journey. We choose Energy for our Exhibition Good morning Journey and because I'm Energy West is very important to human societies for handling problems in the environment. Journey. Develop we societies choose use Energy, for energy resources to agriculture, transport, garbage collection, information technology and human communication. Now let's proceed further to the energy resources to agriculture, transport, garbage collection, information, technology, and human communication. Now let's proceed further to the end. So this is our exhibition journey. First of all, our group's central idea, which is energy transforms life. First line of inquiry is forms of energy, and the key concept for this is form. Second line of inquiry is transformation of energy. And the key concept for this is change. Our th third line of inquiry is evolution of energy sources. 
and the key concept for this is causation. In tuning in, we took a school tour to find out different energy sources and then later we created a mind map and discussed examples of each of these resources. This is our mind map and these are all of the examples that we observed in our school. And for this, we had created a Canva presentation. It's not me, don't send messages. In finding out, we Just had mentor through. sessions with internal Skoko, and external mentors which helped I'm... us explore a lot more about our topic. These are our two mentors. And in sorting out, we had decoded our second line of inquiry and we created a padlet wall in which we had questions and answers and things like this. Thank you. Energy transformation. Solar energy is used in heat and sound energy. Kinetic energy is used in cycling and electric fans. Wind energy is used in wind turbines and electricity. Chemical energy is used in nuclear solar panels. This is all about energy conversion. So here we have aligned our central idea, which is sustainable development goal seven, which is to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy for all. And we use our research skill as we had researched about energy and how it transforms and transfers. We uh, and we have used our thinking skills by this. Uh, when we had to design the central idea and our lines of inquiry. Now we will present the song me and my group have composed together. agents and I will be telling you why we chose space for our exhibition. We chose space because we want Pakistan to enter the space race, to make new rockets, launch them into space and everything like that. And we're also extremely curious about space. And as Jean Kernan once said, curiosity is the essence of our existence. Now let's hear what Ahmed has to say. My name is Muhammad Ahmed Khan and I'm from class 5A. Today I will tell you about my learning journey in PYP. First, I will tell you about our group central idea. Discovery of the universe helped us understand our world. We have three lines of inquiry. Our first line of inquiry is compositions of the universe. Key concepts form. 
The second line of inquiry is technological advancements in space research. The concept change. And the last one is understanding of the space influence our thinking. The concept causation. Now I will tell you how we decoded our central idea. We decoded our central idea by using KWL charts and by mind maps. We had speaker sessions to explore our central idea further. Mr. Rohan Bukhari, who is CEO of Lahore Astronomical Society, we explored the composition, black holes and stars life cycle. Also, we found out many new things about the technological advancements in this in space with Zartaj Vaseem, CEO and co-founder Pakistan Space Science Education. Now I will tell you how we decoded our second line of inquiry. We decoded our second line of inquiry by using Now my friends will tell you more about our journey. Good morning and assalamu alaikum. My name is Maya Ali Khan and today I'm going to be presenting the space evolution slide on behalf of the space agents. Okay, so first we're going to start off with Galileo Galilei. So, Galileo discovered craters on the moon, phases of Venus, Jupiter's moons, the stars of the Milky Way, and the pendulum clock, even though it's not related to space. So here now we have developments made in the 20th century. So science advanced a lot during the 20th century, and they created a lot more technological devices that were developed in the 20th century faster rockets, better satellites, and many more advancements to technology that was old and they just kind of renewed it. So the Evelyn for space. So in the later half of the 20th century, rockets were developed that were power enough to overcome the force of gravity. And on October 4th of 1957, the Soviets launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1. Four years later, on April 12th, 1961, Russian Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit Earth in Vostok 1. So what do we know about global space agencies? Well, they help us learn about new things like planets, they tell us about different planets, and they can also detect weather with the satellites they have. So NASA rovers. So NASA has sent five robotic vehicles, rovers, base, and the names of the five rovers are Sojourner, Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance. And Perseverance, NASA's fifth rover, landed on the red planet in February 2021. So how challenging and difficult is it to learn about space? Well, learning about space was never really easy for us. In the past, it was a lot harder though because we had to calculate and examine things a lot more than we do now to make a true theory. But if we talk about it in more recent times, it's gotten easier to learn about space over the years. Technology is advanced, like I said, in the development we made in the 20th century. It's advanced a lot more. So what the US achieved in the year 1969. In 1969, the US took one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. And U.S. launched the Apollo Lunar Module Eagle into space. And the famous Neil Armstrong landed on the moon and said, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. And these words now describe an era. So Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The Voyager 1 space probe that was launched by NASA on September 5th. Part of the Voyager program was to study out a solar system. And it was launched 16 days after its twin Voyager 2. So Voyager 2 is a space probe launched by NASA on August 20th, 1977 to study outer planets and part of the Voyager program. It was launched 16 days before twin Voyager 1 on a trajectory that took longer to reach Jupiter and Saturn but enabled further encounters with Uranus and Neptune. So here's our silent debate on America winning the space race. So let's start. Uh, I think America did not win the space race because in the photo that America took, the flag was blown, but there's no one on the moon, and that is why I think America did not win the space race. 
uh, Mohammed Evans says, I think Russia won the space race because America didn't go to the moon, they just made a set like the one that they use in the movies and acted like their own. Bova says, I think America cheated because it was not just Russia that said it, there were other countries that also said America cheated. I think the photographs they took on the moon were fake because as Maria said in the picture, they were wet and we know that because the flag looked like it was being blown away, as we all know, there's no so Arham says, America had better rockets, faster ones, just like Saturn and me, that was faster than the speed of sound. So America actually won. People think America faked it because Russia sent the first rocket and America was second. So actually America won. So the list of the institutes working in Pakistan to develop understanding of space creatures. So first we have Spark and sorry, 1961, and this is the institution that divides strategies and conducts research and applications of space technology. Next we have the Institute of Space Technology, the Institute of Space and Planetary Astrophysics, the Department of Space Science, Lahore Astronomical Society, Satellite Research and Satellite and Research Development Center. So thank you. If you have any questions, you can contact us at our emails. And now we will be moving on to the next group member. Don't worry, we'll be back online shortly. Hello, and assalamu alaikum. My name is Jeremiah Safkan from Class 5A in Space Group. Today, I will be telling about the SDG that aligns with our central idea. Our central idea is discovery of the universe helps us understand our world. Well, there's no exact SDG that aligns with our central idea, but SDG 9 kind of does. SDG 9 is about industry and transportation. Transportation uh, is related to space evolution. Space evolution includes rockets, different kind of rockets, different kind of satellites, and many different kind of things. Now, um, I also made some games. Social entrepreneurship made me make two games. We, we, we need to tell people about space. It's really important because at, as our central idea, space does affect our world. Like it, it has many events, many things go on in space and we should know. I base these two games on, specifically on these two topics because they are very important because they are the start of all of this space evolution. So basically, uh, as it's written in the name, this game tells about space race. Uh, what was the first uh, rocket to land on the moon? Who was the, f uh, like, uh, who was the first astronaut? And a bunch of other stuff. This is the second game. This game is based on the universe. This game, as you can see right over there, tells about different components of the universe. It tells about constellations, stars, black holes, and also dark matter, and some other stuff. But the main thing is that I want both of these games to be published on many websites because we all need to know about these things. Space is something really important to us. Yes, and that's all I have to say. Thank you. Now let's see where my group member Phil last
just going to share the screen. Thank you for your patience. We'll be back here shortly. SDG 9 is most relevant to our second line of inquiry, which is technological advancements in space agencies. This SDG is about new inventions and technology. Technology in space is evolving a lot throughout the years, starting from Sputnik 1, the first artificial rocket, land, the first artificial satellite launched into space, and Atlas V, the, the latest rocket launched into space. If you look at Sputnik 1 and Atlas V side by side, there are so many differences. Me and my group have developed research skills, self-management skills, and communication skills. We have developed research skills because of all of the research we have done using Google and other search engines. We have developed self-management skills because of all of the tasks that we've gotten and how we've submitted them on time. We've gotten We've developed communication skills because of all of our collaboration projects. Now, Ahmed will now Muhammad Ahmed Khan will recite a few beautiful verses of Alama Iqbal's poetry. कहे जिंदगी से नहीं ये फिजाएं यहां सैकड़ों कारवां और भी हैं कनात ना कर आलमे रंगों बू पर चमन और भी आशियां और भी हैं अगर खो गया एक नशे मन तो क्या गम मकाम आते आओ पहां और भी हैं Thank you so much, audience. Uh, now there is a screen break and we will be live shortly after 10 minutes. Um, uh, we'll be starting with grade 5B around 10 20 a.m. So please come after the screen break. Thank you so much. We will use the same link to come back at 10 20. Miss, is it 5B next? Yes, 5B. Best of luck, 5B. Great show, 5A. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, we have to come back at 120. Yes, please. Yes. Okay, great. Screen bay, go drink some water, walk around, and come back at 1020. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Hurry up, everyone. What are you waiting yes. for? Somebody has only 15 minutes. Go drink water and come yes, back. Somebody is asking if you have to log in on the same link. Yes, we have to log in the same link for all the sessions. Thank you. So, Ms. Mahapush, you can end the meeting so that it can resume at 1020.